two trials for the death of George Floyd. Esme Murphy is in our newsroom to explain why. Esme. Well, good afternoon, Sheila. The decision, which has enormous ramifications for the trial, is because of COVID-19. The judge ruled that Derek Chauvin will be tried separately beginning March 8th. He faces murder and manslaughter charges for George Floyd's death. He was the former officer seen kneeling on Floyd's neck. The judge says after jury selection, opening statements for Chauvin's trial will begin no earlier than March 29th. The other three former Minneapolis police officers, Tutau, Thomas Lane, and J. Alexander King, will all be tried together in a second trial beginning August 23rd. They are all charged with aiding and abetting. The prosecution filed a motion two weeks ago asking that the trial for all four officers be delayed three months because of concerns about COVID-19. The prosecution argued that waiting three months would allow more time for people involved in the trial, including jurors, to get vaccinated. Judge Peter Cahill's ruling today says even using the largest courtroom in the Hennepin County Government Center, it is still, quote, impossible to comply with COVID-19 physical restrictions in a joint trial with four defendants. We spoke to criminal defense attorney Joe Tamburino, who is not involved in the Floyd case, about the impact of this ruling. They've already set up a scenario where the three other officers have already basically pointed the finger at Derek Chauvin and said, hey, it's all his fault. Do you expect this to only magnify that? Yes, absolutely. Uh, great point. Because think of the optics. Mr. Chauvin is going to go first. Even with all the COVID issues, even with the state requesting a continuance, the court has stated Chauvin will go first and the other three will be six months later. Just the optics of that makes it look like to the public, hey, Chauvin's the main guy. The other three we're not as concerned about. Marino says if Chauvin were to be acquitted, it would make the trial of the other three officers far more difficult for the prosecution because, again, they are accused of aiding and abetting Chauvin's actions. Now, earlier efforts by the three other officers to get their trial separated from Derek Chauvin have been rejected by this same judge. Now, the prosecution is weighing in, saying they disagree with the judge's ruling. In a statement, Attorney General Keith Ellison said, family members and unnecessarily burden the state and the court while also running the risk of prejudicing subsequent jury pools. The attorney general, though, says nevertheless, uh, they are ready to go to court for that first trial of Derek Chauvin, which starts with jury selection on March 8th. And we'll have much more reaction on our newscasts at 5. Important developments. Thank you so much, SMA, for that report. All right. So you heard that, ladies and gentlemen. George Floyd, they are separating the accused. So Derek Chauvin will be getting tried first. So his trial can start anywhere between March 8th and March 29th. And this is a, a recent judge ruling. So Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer who held his knee on George Floyd's neck for minutes, will be tried separately from three other former officers accused of his death according to scheduling orders filed Tuesday. So uh, the judge ruling was Derek Chauvin will stand trial alone in March due to the coronavirus pandemic, while the other three former officers will be tried together in the summer according to the orders filed with the Hennepin County District Court. This was Judge Peter Cahill cited the limitations of physical space during the coronavirus pandemic for his order to split the defendant's trials. Now, as you heard, all of the attorneys are not, um, are not happy with this, you know, um, especially the prosecution, they really wanted them to be tried together. So it's going to be, I don't see how they can't do this virtually, y'all. You know, if social distancing is a problem and you know you have limitations in that courtroom, why can't a lot of this be done virtually? I'm just saying, you know. I think they can come up with better ideas for their jury. And I think that would keep them safe. 
but I guess that's me, right? Okay, so they said they're thinking about how many physical restrictions that they are not going to be able to meet because you, you're going to have all of the lawyers in one room. The defendants would all be together in one room. So the judge just felt like that would not be a good situation. Cahill cited a request from Chief Judge Toddick Barnett and after last week's hearing to reconsider having all four defendants tried in March due to space concern, Barnett wrote, and you know, this was in his view, the courtroom could handle up to three defendants at once. So that's why they separated Chauvin from the other three defendants. Earl Gray, former officer, Thomas Lane's attorney, said the ruling surprised him and that he expects it will help his client. Attorneys for the three other defendants declined to comment. And, you know, in fact, the video that you saw, that was uh, CBS Minnesota Channel 4. So they're saying that, you know, that is really the main reason for doing this. But in my opinion, if you're going to try Chauvin in March, why not do the other ones at least sometime in April or even May? I mean, August? Y'all couldn't do better than August? Okay, so the other three officers have basically pointed the finger at Chauvin. Yeah, they, they, I heard they're all divided on what happened. Everybody is blaming each other. But the three officers are mainly blaming uh, Derek Chauvin for the murder. All right. So the state said Chauvin will go first. Just the optic, optics of that make it look like Chauvin is the main guy. The other three, we are not concerned about. They're just talking about how it appears to everybody. So if Chauvin is found not guilty, some legal observer says it is possible and even likely that the charges would be dropped against the other officers. So we'll see what happens. I know we saw George Floyd get murdered right on camera, but we have seen other black men and women get killed on camera and cops walk. I mean, that is just a fact. It is a fact. And you know they're going to always look out for the best interests of a police officer, even when they are terminated. Look at Amber Geiger. For what she did, she should have gotten way more than 10 years. But even when they fire them, they still look out for their best interests in these cases. We have seen it over and over and over. Okay. So we know what happened to George Floyd on May 25th. They always got to write about that. So Floyd's death sparked protest in Minnesota, really worldwide, and calls for the end of police brutality and racial injustice. Chauvin is charged with second-degree murder, second-degree manslaughter, and Floyd's death. Former officers to Tao, J. Alexander King, and Thomas Lane are each charged with aiding and abetting second-degree murder, as well as aiding and abetting second-degree manslaughter. Defense attorneys had argued last year for uh, each officer to be tried separately, since each officer might seek to diminish their own role in Floyd's arrest and death by pointing fingers at other officers. Prosecutors argued against dividing the trial. So I know the prosecution is not happy about this separate trial stuff, saying that the evidence against all four is similar. The officers acted together and the public and witnesses should be spared the trauma of multiple trials. Tao, King, and Lane are scheduled to stand trial together beginning August 23rd. So this is the latest update, ladies and gentlemen, on this case. 
we shall see what happens. I mean, March is really not that far away. And I sure hope they televise uh, Derek Chauvin's case. You know, I would like to see it. I know how these cases go in America. You know, it, it's always in favor of the cop. But I still would like to review it anyway, if that's possible. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.